Love Manny Pacquiao, TNK Fighter. Love Manny Pacquiao, TNK Fighter. Mahal ko tayo. Mahal ko tayo. Manny Pacquiao is truly unpredictable. A legend indeed. His fight versus Thurman last year revealed his hidden strength. One of those who shocked and amazed was Leo Station Cruz. John Mello, interview with Leo Santa Cruz. I love Manny Pacquiao, he's a great fighter. He, he's has accomplished so much. And me, I would like to fight, see him fight one more time. Maybe one more time and then retire. But uh, if it was up to me, I would like to see him fight all the time because you know his fights are great. He gives great fights and I'm a big fan of him. Who, who is the boxer that you want Manny Pacquiao to fight next year? Uh, there's a lot of fighters that I would like to fight, you know, there's Mikey Garcia, there's Danny Garcia, Earl Spence, Sean Porter, any of them would be a great fight, and I know uh, Manny Pacquiao will be a great fighter. But you have to pick one, what is the, thing, what is the boxer you think that really match him? I think uh, Spence, I think uh, Manny Pacquiao against Spence will be a great fight. Okay, thank you very much, and God bless. Can you say, mahal ko kayo for your taga in Tagalog, mahal ko kayo. Mahal ko tayo. Thank you very much, have a nice day. It is too interesting that an old fighter is still beating a young generation boxer. That is what Station Cruise underscored. I know, uh, we're not really surprised, are you, like, you know, because I knew Manny Pacquiao was a great fighter and everything, but I thought that age was going to pay a factor. Indirectly, Leo Station Cruz became a Manny fan. Uh, he's younger. I thought he was gonna beat Pacquiao. Uh, uh, Pacquiao, you know, he fights and he, he beat it. He beat uh, Thurman and Leo Santa Cruz is a Mexican professional boxer. He has held multiple world championships in four weight classes, including the Ba Super Featherweight title since 2017 and the Ba Super Super Featherweight title since 2019. He showed a lot of heart. Yeah, no, what were you guys' thoughts on that, that drop? Uh, was, when you dropped Thurman? Yeah, like, when he dropped what? Yeah, when you dropped him. Oh, like damn, he still has the, the power, power, yeah, the power yeah. drop. Yeah, because you know, his last opponent, he hadn't, he hadn't knocked him out, and so I said, oh, maybe he's power. No, we're going fading away or something, like, but, but in that fight, he showed that he still has the speed and the power, and he dropped it. I thought he was going to knock him out. He Yeah. 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 Prove him wrong that because the other guy was talking to that. Yeah, my dream match after this fight, hopefully I get the win. I want Javante Davis. You know, he's one of the best right now. He, he's a really dangerous fighter and we want to prove ourselves that we're not scared of him and we're not scared of nobody. The, the Pacquiao was in, didn't deserve to be up there no more and stuff like that. So he said, oh, I want to prove something and he did prove it. Yeah, 
Previously he held the Bantamweight title from 2012 to 2013, the WBC Super Bantamweight title from 2013 to 2015, and the Butt Super Featherweight title in his first reign from 2015 to 2016. As of March 2019, Santa Cruz is ranked as the world's ninth best active boxer, pound for pound, by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board TPRB, and tenth by BoxRec. In January 2018, he reached a peak pound for pound ranking of sixth by the TBRB. He is also ranked as the world's best active featherweight by the Ring Magazine, BoxRec, and the TBRB. Any message for the rest of the featherweight fighters? Yeah, no, to the, the get ready, you know, prepared. I'm coming for them. The, I'm, I want to fight the best. I want to go out there unified and, you know, just keep on growing and becoming the best. It's the sports, J Mello. That's what I follow, Basta Sports, J Mello. Thank you very much, Bob. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.